If you played enough games in 2017, you could genuinely get yourself a free titanium white octane. It was ridiculous. And quickly, before we do get into this video, with trading now gone from Rocket League, this is the next best thing by far. You can literally buy some of the rarest redeem codes in the whole entire game. So don't go spending $20 on a random black market. Click the link in the description and check it out today. So the back end of 2017 was quite something, to be fair. Prices went through the roof for certain items, and certain items that got released, like white octanes, were worth nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can see right here, crates were so, so valuable. Valuable. Maybe I added more crates in different trades, but getting myself striker orange apexes, ridiculous. Obviously, back in the day, they weren't really worth like half as much, but you can see right here, literally me giving away loads of crates, got me a titanium white octane. Yep, it was still glitched, okay? So this is like where you can't see the rarity, okay? This is common rarity, but I'm pretty sure the pop-up will be import, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's going to be an import pop-up, but yeah, the game glitched out completely for your octanes when they first got released. All of the non-crate stuff was just so so weird because if you remember back in the day non crate very rares literally meant nothing you couldn't trade them up and then in the update they made them possible you could trade them up in august 2017 which is, i think when this recorded maybe september 2017 and yeah you could genuinely get painted octanes out of trade-ups and they're worth absolutely nothing for the longest time and then everyone started realizing okay a painted octane is pretty cool why not just make this price rise ridiculously and there you go bang it obviously eventually reached, I think, like 200 keys and obviously 25,000 credits. So, definitely went up quite a lot from just a few crates. But you can see right here, these trades are quite basic in, this, in these episodes, I'm pretty sure. Because the first few episodes, when I was making, like, episodes 1 to 10 in, like, the start of 2017, I was genuinely, like, committing my whole entire inventory into buying really cool items. Like, white zombies, like, black zombies, I'm pretty sure. Loads of heat waves, stuff like that. But at this point... I was sort of just doing as many trading montages as I possibly could. So probably that is the reason why I was buying painted uh, K2s. Yeah, honestly, like I could trade up any painted K2 now. It wouldn't even matter because they're honestly that bad. But I think back in the days, to be fair, like Kalos as well. These are all brand new. So buying these was actually a massive gem back in the day because you could make so much profit by just selling all of the brand new items. Roulettes, for example, went mental. Same with Kalos. Same for all of the others, to be fair. All the other wheels when they first got released were absolutely unreal. And you got Black Zombies right here. Once again, a ridiculous item back in the day, but once again, I think this fell off an absolute cliff in 2017. I don't know what happened. It's just white zombies took over, and yeah, that was sort of like the paint color that just took over the game. Crimson fell off as well, and you've got 11 labs right here for a few black markets. You've also got, is that just a regular Apex? Okay, so even regular Apex is fire back in the day. Decent, and I'm pretty sure one of the final trades... It's nothing special anyway, but yeah, it's going to be me selling Crimson Dracos, which are really good, and a Reaper. So regular Reaper back in the day was pretty much worth nothing, and Hex phases. No idea whatsoever, but of course, make sure I subscribe for more OG trading montages. I enjoy making these at the moment, and yeah, guess I'll see you tomorrow.